what is up there guys rocker x Ricardo here bringing you another w12 commentary and this one um there's a question because i'm gonna start doing question series taking a little break from the universe taking a little break from that tna storyline but it's still going on alive still taking a break from 2007 um um the purpose in this commentary is if there was a WWE superstar that you would want to return to the WWE, who would it be? Now, this wrestler must be in the WWE, and you can pick anybody who has been in the WWE and isn't in there anymore, like uh, examples, Vladimir Kozlov, um, or any of these guys. I, I put some hot picks in here, because these are some guys that are really requested to return to the WWE. We have Rob Van Dam, we have Jeff Hardy, we have Kurt Angle, we have John Morrison, we have Mr. Anderson or Mr. Kennedy, and I put uh, Ric Flair in there too for uh, no purpose. This is old Ric Flair, so yeah. Um, if there was a guy who I would want to return to WWE, it would honestly be Jeff Hardy because Let's just face it, Jeff Hardy makes, he, he has a big fan base in WWE, and you know, see maybe after uh, Chris Jericho and CM Punk finish off their feud, if Jeff was in the WWE, or if he signed there, that would be pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure he's staying with TNA for a while because it's more of his style, he doesn't have to work continuously, the schedule's easier on him, plus, uh, he said that he hasn't that he doesn't want to return to the WWE because of uh, if you guys remember what pay per view was it Breaking Point when uh, CM Punk said that Jeff Hardy's face was on the newspaper of hundreds of pages or whatever because he was arrested for uh, drugs in his house so that really pissed off Jeff Hardy and uh, if you remember a video Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy did when they were, I think, um, high or something, that Jeff Hardy made CM Punk the superstar he is today. Uh, not true. He got a lot of hate for it, but, you know, he was in a different world back then, and now he seems to be in a happier place. So, yeah. Uh, that would be mine. But other than Jeff Hardy, I would want Kurt Angle to return because uh, Kurt Angle versus a couple of superstars would be great. I mean, Kurt Angle versus Jack Swagger versus Dolph Ziggler, even Undertaker. That would be pretty freaking sexy if you tell me. <laughs> and the other point of this commentary is um, there's like a little survey uh, WWE Games did um, WWE testing applications. So you can go play WWE 13 early or whatever before the game actually is actually released. And you know that's pretty effing or tactical, whatever you want to call it. And actually, I want to do the survey, and um, I will leave it in the description below so you guys can go, you know, take it, and you know, maybe you're going to be playing WB13 in the future before it comes out. That'd be pretty cool. Um, you may be able to play it, but you're. Let me read it here. Please note this is not a full time job, this is a volunteer, volunteer opportunity. You will not be paid, but you will receive some pretty awesome stuff with it. Playing to 13 is pretty awesome enough. You must be able to com commute to our THQ office in Agura Hills with your own mode of transportation. Are you a hardcore WWE Games fan? Do you play WWE 12 in your sleep? Are you still defending your championship belt in the ring? Or are you just a damn good superstar? Do you have a desire to test our WWE 13 and provide us critical and quality feedback which will directly impact the design. If you live in the Los Angeles area and think you have what it takes to step into the development ring, please fill out the application below. Space is limited. We'll contact you shortly if we feel you are in the light if you are in the right degree games to start for these sessions. So I guess you must live in California and near LA or something. Do you own or have played W twelve yes? Of course I own it. Um Question number one, please provide your primary email address, okay? Please provide your phone number. Okay. How old are you? I'm 17. What city in 
Southern California do live in, um, I'm just gonna lie about this, Sun Valley. I live in Bakersfield, but I used to live there. Anderson. Are you able, uh, on a weekday? Oh, look at this. On a weekday. I'm available any day of the week. Xbox to be 60. I own it on there. Please check all the following other THQ games that you have owned or have played. See, I have 2011, I have 2010. Well, I had it. I played it. I played that. I played those. I played all of them, honestly. Uh, I didn't play WWE All Stars. Do you still play W12? If so, how many hours a week? I play it like 5 to 10 hours a week, you can say. How many hours overall have you put into the game? Probably 40 or more. Uh, let's see. What modes do I play? I play universe mode. Uh, I try to download community creations. I play exhibition and of course I did Road to WrestleMania. What do you like the most about W12 wrestling being played? Why? Just be specific. Mm, the feel to it feels like I'm actually watching it on TV. That's what I like about it. If you can improve one thing, honestly, makes the guys get up a little. Boy, what makes a guys take more time to get up in triple threat matches? Because honestly, I, I played a triple threat match for like almost 30 minutes. It was kind of boring. Are there any exploits in the 12 you would like to call out so we should fix in the 13 What it? What's? I have one right here in my mind. Um, make a all C A W created show. I keep getting a error that says, uh, uh, that's misspelled it, that says I need 15 stars in a show, yet I have 30 and can't. When playing online, uh, who do you play? I play as creative superstars to be honest. I'm sometimes just bored. Bored of the roster. <clears throat> Why do you. <clears throat> Hold on, guys, I have a bad throw problem right now. Why do you feel you should be allowed to enter? Because I feel like my voice can be. Heard and I love this series. I play it all the time when I have time. Plus, I do YouTube videos about to be 12, so my voice can be heard by others. I'm not that big on YouTube, but you know. I can honestly help it out. Okay, I'm done. And it sent me directly to Facebook for some reason. Well, you guys can enjoy the rest of the match. Remember, who would you like? Pick as one guy to return to the WWE, and who would you make him face? Why would you want him back? Etc. Etc. Rock your ex, except.
controlling the body here by controlling the arm. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. Watch it. Morrison with some nice crisp offense. Hooking the leg. Two. Three. impact to the spine and back. His shoulders are down. Two. Three. Ah, oh, look at this. Refusing to give in there. What sheer determination. Oh, nice counter. We saw it all in this match, King, and those repeated blows to the skull have definitely taken their toll. Well, I don't know if the head was intentionally focused on, but it definitely took a... Hey, he's going for it again. Oh, lights out. And here's a cover. Two. The show is over. The show's been eliminated. One. Two. Three. Reversal. Can he follow up? Uh-oh. Oh, what an offensive move. He's trying to get the blood flowing to his brain. Out here. Look at the agility. Ah! What a move. Can he capitalize? Right down the neck. One. He thinks he has it. Two. Two. Three. Three. The natural win. 